Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to split multiple lines in a single cell into separate columns. So here I have the address of three fictional characters and you can see that each part of the address is in a separate line. So you can see I have the name, street, city and country on separate lines in the same cell. And what I need to do is I need to get these separate parts of the address into different columns. So to do this, we will use the text to columns functionality. The first step is to select this entire data set. Then I need to go to the data tab and in data tab, I have the text to columns option. It is, it's in the data tools group. And when I click on text to columns, it opens the text to columns wizard, which has three steps. In the first step, I need to specify whether I'm uh, looking to uh, split this based on a delimiter or based on fixed width. In my case, my delimiter would be the line break. And a delimiter essentially means that if let's say a delimiter is a comma, then text to column would identify the text before the comma and the text after the comma and separate it into two different cells. Similarly, in this case, my delimiter would be a line break. So I would want to, I want text to columns to identify the line break and separate the text before the line break and after the line break. So in this case, I've selected delimited. I would click on next. And in step two, you would see that you can specify the delimiters. Now in this case, tab is already selected. I would uncheck this option and click on other. And here I need to specify the line break. Now here is where the trick comes in. You need to use the keyboard shortcut control J. So you need to hold the control key and press the J key and see what happens when I do this you will see that nothing changes here in this box, but the cursor changes to a blinking dot. And if you look really hard, you'll see able to see the blinking dot and you, you're not seeing anything here, but uh, Excel has inserted the line break character in this. And you can see in the data preview, you have the result that you want. So I have the names in uh, one column, the uh, street, the city and the country. So now I would click on next and here I, I can specify where the destination uh, cell should be. So in this case, it's saying A2. If I click finish here, it'll override these. But if I want to keep these original data set intact, I can specify a different destination cell. So I can select B2 here. And now when I click finish, it'll ask me, there is already data here. Do you want to replace it? And I can simply say, okay. And as soon as I do this, you can see it has inserted these separate elements in separate columns. So I have Sherlock Holmes, the street, the city and the country and the same for all these address. So what you can do is you can use text to columns and in case of line break, you can use the keyboard shortcut control J and that would insert the line break in text to columns and you'll be able to do this. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.